Japan, but now with more of today's main news, over to Bridget. Delroy Grant, the man accused of being the night stalker rapist who terrorised South London for 17 years, repeatedly claimed in court today that his DNA had been deliberately planted by someone else at all 18 crime scenes. Under cross-examination at Woolwich Crown Court, Grant blamed his ex-wife and the police for framing him for 29 counts of burglary and rape of elderly people. Katie Razzle was in court. This is Delroy Grant, a rapist and burglar, the prosecution says, who carried out a sickening campaign of attacks on elderly men and women in South London over 17 years. Mr Grant, instead, claims his DNA was planted at all 18 crime scenes by someone else. The Delroy Grant in the witness box is smart, softly spoken, respectable even, but he's charged with unspeakable crimes. As the prosecution put it, if these charges weren't so grave, this would be laughable as an account. Your defence is a lie, Mr Laidlaw told him. You simply refuse to face up to all the burglaries you've committed, the old people you've raped and attacked. The woman in the hood, his ex-wife Janet Watson. Mr Grant says she took samples of his semen and saliva in 1977, that she and an unnamed accomplice framed him years later. Yesterday, she told the jury she'd been left speechless by his ridiculous claims. Today, Jonathan Laidlaw QC for the prosecution told Grant... You did not have a genuine defence at all. This is one you made up since. I did not make it up. You cannot face up to the enormity of what you've done. For what reason would I want to rape old women? That's a very good question. Whoever did rape, assault or burgle 18 people was methodical in his approach. Cutting phone lines, taking out light bulbs. Some of his victims said the first they knew was a torch shining in their faces. Some described him kissing them before he raped them. Mr Grant said somebody with knowledge of DNA planted his at the crime scenes. He also accuses the police of setting him up. After his arrest, Mr Grant was brought here to Lewisham Police Station. He signed for various possessions, including a torch. He later claimed the police had planted the torch on him. So why did you sign for it, he was asked today. I would have signed to be shot that night, he told the court. If you'd said, sign your name to be executed, I would have done. I wasn't even thinking. Mr Grant was arrested in November 2009 after a surveillance operation. At the time, his neighbours said they were stunned this pleasant man who cared for his multiple sclerosis suffering wife could be the night stalker. Today, the prosecution closed its case against Mr Grant, saying it was impossible to understand what motivated him to carry out such depraved attacks. Delroy Grant insists his innocence. The case continues. A